Hello all, in this particular tutorial we will learn how to set up database link and we will learn how to set up the database link between Oracle to Oracle database. Before I proceed, I would like to give you an overview of database links. Database link allows local users to access data on remote database. Database link is a pointer that defines one-way communication path from Oracle database to another database. Why database link is a one-way communication? Because client connected to local database can use database link to access information in remote database. Users connected to remote database cannot use same link to access data in other database. So now let me explain this. Let's say you have two databases. One database is on server A, another database is on server B. You want to access the data from the database hosted on server B while connected to server A. While connected to server A, you want to access the data from the server B that is possible over the database link. If you don't set up the database link, you will have to connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. However, database link allows you to connect to the local database and access the data from the remote database. And why it is one-way communication? Because let's say you have created a DB link which is pointed to the remote database. While connected to the local database, you can access the data of the remote database. But if you, if you connect to the remote database thinking that you will be able to get the data of local database, that's not possible. It is one way. And I'll explain this in a detail. So let's say you have a local database, you have a remote database, you have set up a DB link over the network. This local database is pointing to this remote database. So the DB link is present here. This is where you have created the DB link. This is where you, these are the tables which you want to access from here. So the users are connected here and when they connect here, they can access the data which is present here and they can access the data which is present here over the DB link. Now users disconnect from here and they connect here. Let's say they connect here. They will not be able to access the data over DB link of this database. They will, let's say users connect here. They will not be able to access this data. They can only access the data while connecting here from this database. So if you want the data of this database while connecting here, you'll have to set up another DB link. So the same DB link will not work. So it is a one way communication path. Now, the, what are the supported remote databases types? The remote database can be of below type. You can have an another Oracle database. You can have a SQL Server database. You can have a DB2 LUW, LUW database. You can have a MySQL, PostgreSQL, and many more. In this particular tutorial, we will learn how to set up the DB link between Oracle to Oracle. In the next videos, I will cover how to set up the DB link between SQL Server, DB2, LAW, MySQL, Postgres. But in this particular tutorial, we will concentrate on Oracle. Now, there are two types of DB links. One is private DB links and one is public DB link. In case of private DB link, only user who created the link has access. Only the user who created the link has access. It is more secure because only owner of private DB link can use link to access remote database. So this particular private DB link, the, the user who creates, only that user has the access and it is secure because only he can use that link to access the data from remote database. Public DB link, all database users have access when many users require access to remote database, you can create a single public link for all users in a database. So public DB link when is not secure and when multiple users want to access the data of remote database, you will create a public DB link. Now how to create a private DB link? To create a private DB link, you will say create database link, name of the link. This is of your choice. Connect to remote DB user. This is the user who has access on that remote database. This is the password of this user, remote DB user. This is the password of this user using the TNS name.entry which is pointing to the remote database. So this is how we will create a private DB link. So create database link, name of link. This can be of your choice. This is the user who has access on the remote database. This is the password of the remote database, yeah, remote user and the TNS entry pointing to the remote database. 
If you want to create a public DB link, the command is exactly same except you will add this public after create. Before database, you will add this. Rest all the command will remain the same. If you want to retrieve the information about DB links, you can use the dictionary view DBA underscore DB links. DBA underscore DB links will give you the information about the DB links which are present in the database. This tutorial is done on Oracle 19C running on Linux 8. I got two databases, local database hosted on DB1. Name of the database is Aura 19D. Remote database hosted on DB2. Name of the database is Aura 22D. We will be connecting here, which means we will be connecting to Aura 19D and we will be accessing the data which is present in Aura 22D. So from this particular database, we will be accessing the data which is or, or the tables which are present in this. So we will be creating DB link in Aura 19D pointing to Aura 22D or in other words, we will connect to Aura 19D. So we will connect to Aura 19D and access tables present in Aura 22D. Now that we have understood what we are trying to do, there are two methods of setting the DB link. One using the TNS names dot and Aura entry, TNS names entry, and another one without using TNS names entry. So you can either set up the DB link using TNS names or you can set up the DB link without using TNS names. So what are the steps if you are using the TNS names dot Aura file? Create entry in TNS names dot Aura on the source server pointing to remote database. Remember, we need to point to remote database. Log into the database, create DB link, optionally create synonym. What are the steps you need to do on target server? Nothing. You don't have to do anything. So this is the thing. Everything that you do is on the local server. You don't have to do anything on the target server. Now let's understand this in detail. So here we are creating the TNS name.ora entry for Aura 22D pointing to host 2 or db2 database name is aura 22 d and this is our remote database this is our remote database you can see remote database hosted on db2 the name of the database is aura 22 d so we are creating on the local server we are creating an entry pointing to the remote database once you have created this remote entry you will say create database link name of your choice Connect to the data user who has access to this database. Identify by password. This user password of this user using Aura 22D. So this is what this is the TNS net names dot Aura entry which we have defined here. Once you have created the DB link to access the data, you will say this test table is present in this database. So you will use the name of the table at the db link the db link which you have defined so this is the db link that you have defined so test table is present in remote database and then if everything goes fine then you should be able to access the data present in aura 22d from aura 19d so from the local database you, you can access the data from of the remote database this is one of the method second method is without using tns names or entry so on the source server log into the database create db link optionally create synonym on the target server again nothing so how here we don't create a entry in the tns names dot aura what you will be doing in the database will create db link and instead of creating an entry whatever you specify in the tns names dot aura file you will directly specify that while creating the database link so this is your connection information where which host you are connecting what is the port that you are connecting where the database is listening what is the sid of the database so you are specifying that if you use this method you don't have to create an entry in tns names dot aura file and then you will access the database using the db link so this is the name of the db link and this database is present in this database uh, this table is present in this database now that we have seen everything optionally if, if you want to create the synonym you can use create synonym give the name of synonym for this is the remote table this is the name of db link once you do create this synonym once you create this synonym now you can access the data using this synonym select star from synonym name and then it is this particular synonym is going to point to the remote database so you don't have to always use this at clause you don't have to expose that this is a db link you can access access the data from this db link using the synonym now let's now that we have seen everything let's go ahead and connect to our session so i got a database here called aura 
let me or our, so this is the database and everything that i do everything that i do will be on the source server so i will not even connect to the target server everything i will be doing on db1 on my local so this is my local database or 19d i'll show you one more time how how the setup is going to look like so db1 or 19d this is local and this is where we are going to create the db link and this is the database that we are going to point nothing here we are not going to touch this database everything that we do will be here so i'll show you this one more time so let if i run this you can see that i got this particular database you can see that this is running on aura 19d is the name of the SID or DB database and it is running on host DB1. So this is running on host. And if I run the same query, let me delete all of this. And if I run exactly same, let me take this. And if I run exactly same, you can see this is the second database that is running aura 22 d which is running on DB2, db.com. So this is running on second host. Now, what we are going to do, the tables which are present in aura 22d we are going to access it from aura 19d so from here we are going to access the tables which are present in aura 22d so there are as i mentioned there are two methods we'll go through both the methods so first thing that we need to do we need to set up the tns names or aura entry so let's go to the server one and everything that we will be doing will be on db1 so let's go there and add an entry in tns names aura and you can see there is the only entry for the local database or an identity. Let's add an entry for the remote database in our TNS names aura. So that looks good. We'll save this. And you can see here we are pointing to aura 22D, aura 22D pointing to the remote host. So we are pointing to the remote host. This is DB1. We are doing this on DB1. As you can see, this is on DB1 or DB1. So let's save this for a particular file. So that's done. Let me clear the thing. And let me do the TNS ping to verify that that entry is proper and is working. And you can see TNS ping db2.db.com or r22d. That looks good. So the TNS entry is done. The next part is now we can log into the database. Either you can use SQL plus SSDBA or you can use the SQL developer. Anything is fine. I'll use the SQL plus the SQL developer because it I can show you very clearly. So what I'm doing here create database link this is the name of your choice this is connect to the user who has access to the remote database this is the password of this user on the remote database using the entry which we define in the tns names dot aura file so this is how we are going to create the database link so let's do that so let's do that let's run this particular statement create database link and that looks good. So we have created a DB link. And now let's run this particular query. And this test is not in the local database. This is in the remote database. So I'm going to run this query. And you can see we got one Oracle DB. And wait for a minute. So as you see that we were connected to Aura 19D, if I run V$ instance over the DB link, let me see what I'm getting. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to run this. And you can see I'm getting this, which means that this V$ instance data that we came from the V$ instance is not on the local, it is to the remote. So over the DB link, we were able to access the tables which are present in the remote. Still, you don't believe me? Let me do something. Let me take this particular query or otherwise let me take these queries. Let me put it here. And why am I putting Oracle here? Because I connected as a sys, but the tables if you see the user is oracle so i'm going to say select star from oracle.test it should have one record one oracle db is the same record that we saw here let me show it to you over the db link one oracle db now let me do one thing let me add a new record so i'm now i'm connected to aura 20 d and i'm going to add a new record i'm going to connect i'm going to commit and i'm going to verify and then i will verify first i will verify on the local database i don't have to verify it let me not verify it here because if if insert has gone successful then commit would have so let me run this insert then yes one row inserted and let me commit 
that looks good and now let me come here there was only one record one oracle db now there should be two records because we just inserted the second record in the remote database so second new record so let's verify this and we should get the data so you can see new record so this is the way where we have set up the db link and we were able to access the data of this test table which is present in the aura 22d now there is as i mentioned this is over the tns names dot aura if you don't wanted to use the tns names dot aura if you don't wanted to use the tns name dot aura you could have you can use the another method and in that method what we will do be doing and i'll create another db link so let me create another db link and this time i'm going to use the directly instead of creating a tns names dot aura i'm going to add this so let me run this and that got created so i got now i got two db link and let me access the data from this particular db link and i should get two records one is oracle db and second is new record one is oracle db and second is new record that looks good so i got two db links and if you if i if you want to take a look at this db links you can take a look using this select star from dba db links we should have two db links one called the one called where is the one one called oracle db link and one called oracle db link tns why i use this tns because it was used it was using this tns entry that's why i used it but you can use any name so we should have two db db links and you can see we got two db link and here if you take a look at the db link here it directly says host aura 22 d this is a tns name to entry and this is where it actually takes the entry directly from here so it is not using so this db link does not use tns names dot aura this db link uses tns names aura and finally i would like to show you the concept of synonym and how did we do the synonym so to create the synonym we will say name of the synonym the remote table at the remote database the db link name and then we can access the data from the, the synonym so let's do that let me create a synonym so let me go here and we are creating everything that we are doing is on the local database so let's run this so i'm going to create a synonym that's done and now if i run this query i'm getting this same two records and these are pointing through this this synonym is pointing to the test table hosted on aura 22d and we are connected to aura 19d so we are getting the record from aura 22d let me run this so we are connected to aura 19d and we are getting the data so this particular data using the synonym it is actually going to the this particular table which is on aura 22d so let's run this one more time and you can see we got this record so this is the this was the short tutorial on how to set up the database link between oracle to oracle and this the steps were pretty simple where we have to just set either set up the tns name dot aura entry and create database link and if you want you can create the synonym or you can use you can directly create the entry tna pop database link without using tns name dot aura in this particular tutorial we saw how to do this using oracle to oracle in the next tutorial i'll cover sql server db2 luw like i'll cover one video for sql server one for db2 luw one for mysql and one for PostgreSQL. The DB link between Oracle to Oracle is most simplest way to set up. When it comes to other technologies, there are complexities. It gets the complexity adds because you need to deal with other things as well. However, we will see that in the other tutorial. Now, thank you. Let me say this. Thank you for watching this particular tutorial. If you do like the videos that I'm uploading on my channel, do hit the subscribe button. Do hit the like button. Once again, thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye.